Hello, this is Dan Fashionbauer from Video Pizzazz. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate the Aweber autoresponder with your Groove Pages account. All right, let's get started. I'll click on Groove Pages and I'll come up here in the upper right hand corner, click on this, click on My Integrations, and it says here you don't have any integrations yet. That's correct. So I can click on Add Integration here or Add up here in the right, upper right hand corner. So click on Add Integration. Use the Integration Type pull down. And in my case, I'm going to select Aweber. So it says here, please click here to authorize your Aweber account. So click here. And now you need to provide your Aweber login details. And then click on Allow. All right, so now GrooveFunnels API connected with your Aweber account. So now if I come up here and click on the three lines here, click on my integrations. So now when I come in here the second time to try to do it, it says, thank you, your Aweber account has been verified. Click on update and then Aweber shows up right here. So now GrooveFunnels has been connected through an API to my Aweber account. So I'll come up here, click on exit. So now if I click on Groove Pages, click on New Site, click Blank Template, and I click on Blocks. Uh, let's go to Wireframes, scroll down to Forms. Here's an opt-in form. Click on that and drag that over here. By default, this is just asking for an email, and then it has a subscribe button. So now if I click on this area here where it says Email and Subscribe, Come over here and click on configure. You'll want to change the input ID to say email, and then the input name is email, and then the input placeholder is capital email. Click on add validation rules, and you're just saying that they have to put in their email address in order for this to work. Let's say here the input cannot be empty. Click on update. All right, so we just configured this email input field. Now we want to configure the subscribe button. So if we click on subscribe, come over here to configuration, your button text says is button text and the button action says submit. This is what's coming from Aweber. So what we need to do is make sure that this form input field here and whatever we put on the button here matches whatever we have in Aweber. So for instance, currently our button is labeled subscribe here, but it says here button action in Aweber is actually called submit. So if you do go over to Aweber, you'll see here it does say submit. So it doesn't matter what you want to call it, but your Aweber button name here should match this button text here. All right, so that concludes this video. I hope you found that useful, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.